Good evening and welcome to our Forget Me Not service, which today comes from my home church, St Chad's. My name is Elaine Voice and I'm a licensed lay minister in the parish of Kidderminster East. At this time of year, we'd normally have held a memorial service for those who've died, but sadly, this is not possible in our COVID-19 situation. Earlier this evening, we collected the names of loved ones left during the day at one of our forget-me-not places at our five churches. The names of your loved ones will be read out and we will pray for them as we light a candle in their memory. Thank you for joining me in this act of remembrance, a time for us all to bring to mind those loved ones that have died, all that was special about them and the part they've played in our lives. We will pray for them and ask God for his comfort and peace. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Let us pray. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those that believe in me, will, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Lord God, we thank you because you made us in your image and gave us gifts in mind, body and spirit. We thank you for those that we are remembering here this evening and what they meant to each one of us. As we honour their memories, make us more aware that you are the one from whom every perfect gift, including the gift of eternal life, comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. We come to you in our need. Be with us as we experience the abyss of death and grief. Be there in our sorrow and pain. Be with us in our fear, so that we may find light in darkness, comfort in your word. In the name of Jesus, who by his sacrifice on the cross has conquered death. Amen. I'm going to read you a passage from the Old Testament from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. He sets the time for birth and the time for death, the time for planting and the time for pulling up, the time for killing and the time for healing the time for tearing down and the time for building. He sets the time for sorrow and the time for joy, the time for mourning and the time for dancing, the time for making love and the time for not making love, the time for kissing and the time for not kissing. He sets the time for finding and the time for losing, the time for saving and the time for throwing away. The time for tearing and the time for mending. The time for silence and the time to talk. He sets the time for love and the time for hate. The time for war and the time for peace. I know that everything God does will last forever. You can't add anything to it or take away from it. And one thing God does is to make us stand in awe of him. Whatever happens or can happen has already happened before. God makes the same thing happen again and again. Now, in our reading, 
we have a picture of what life is really like, the ups and the downs, the good and the bad times, the different stages and times in our lives. King Solomon, who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, was renowned for his wisdom and wealth. He had a prosperous life, but during his reign as king, he made a lot of mistakes along the way. And he's writing towards the end of his life, looking back at all that he's experienced and done. Despite his failings, he still acknowledges that God is in control. He sets the time for everything and he, Solomon, stands in awe of the Almighty. Earlier in Ecclesiastes, Solomon wrote this, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. And these words are echoed in our reading. Whatever happens or can happen has already happened before. All of us have been affected by the events of this year. The impact of COVID-19 on our lives and in particular the inability to be able to grieve the loss of those that have been important to us. People that we love and miss dearly. We may not have been able to say goodbye in the way that we would have wanted or even celebrated their lives and shared memories. Funerals have been short with only a few mourners. It's been a tough time for all. Our world may not have experienced COVID-19 before, but down the generations, people have been through similar challenging times. What Solomon is reminding us is that God knows all about it. We can be confident when we feel overwhelmed by our situation. Whatever we are going through, God is the same, never changing, all loving, and he can shield and protect us, guide us and care for us. Walk with us even in the darkest moments. His love is always for there and for all. St. Peter reminds us of this love in one of his letters. And he says this, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And after his resurrection, Jesus promised to be with his disciples always. And whatever we have been through, no matter how we feel today, we can be sure that Jesus has been through it with us, even if we haven't been aware of it. In that well-known poem, Footsteps in the Sand, Jesus reminds the writer that when he only sees one set of footsteps, those are the times when Jesus carried him. My prayer for us is that we will let Jesus carry us when we need his help most. May we need know his peace and blessing in our lives. And may we continue to comfort and support each other in the days ahead. I'm now going to light a candle and if you have one with you, you might like to light a candle in memory of your loved ones. I will now read the names that have been collected today from all the forget-me-not places at our five churches. St George's, St Cecilia's, St Mary's, St Cassian's and St Chad's. Raymond Earl, Florence and Ernie, Margaret Holloway, Little Man and Grandad, Bo Lindley, Amy Welsh, Howard, Larry, Mum, The Soldiers, Anne Ricketts, Pat Yardley, Maud Taylor, Lydia Burgess, Frankie Pearsall, 
Carol Taylor, John White, Ron Bones, Bill Marsden, Frieda Crofts, Jean Smith, Mark Whiting, Janet Moody, and Karen's dad, Jeff Hibbard. This candle is lit to represent the grief of our loss. This candle represents our courage and strength. It is to bring comfort in our sorrow. It shines to bring us hope as we move forward. This candle is lit in the memory of our loved ones, for the times we laughed, the times we cried, for the special memories that fill our hearts, for the joy they brought to our lives. This candle is lit for the future without our loved ones. And as we enter this special time of remembrance, we re cherish the special place in our hearts that will always be reserved just for them. And we thank God for the light that they brought to our own life. Amen. We're coming towards the end of our service, but I want to remind you that our forget-me-not services that have been running every day this week, there will still be one more tomorrow, and you're welcome to join us. It's been a privilege to share this journey of remembering with you. And if you'd like to talk further with a member of our team, please contact the parish office. You'll find the contact details on the Kidderminster East Parish Facebook page, and they will pass your request on to the relevant person. And a blessing for us all. Tenderly may time heal our sorrow. Gently may friends ease our pain. Softly may peace replace our heartache. May the warmest memories remain. May the clear brightness of the gentle dawn enter our souls, bringing faith, hope and love. Amen.